everyone this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Tendinia Marketing and today I'm going to share with you the logo design that is uh, quite looking like a 3D logo design that's flipping from the edges uh, showing a flipping or bending look from the edges so it's a very simple and easy technique that I use to create this uh, uh, sort of logo design so if you are learning illustrator and you want to create different sort of logo design uh, and uh, um, you want to start work as a professional uh, designing or as a professional graphic designer then might be this tutorial can help you out so let's start now first of all what I'm going to uh, do I will create a new document to create a similar uh, logo design here so I will go with these settings here and moving uh, it to around 66% so it will be quite easy for you to look around and all the way and here simply taking this uh, rectangular tool from here and dragging a rectangle like this to, and uh, turning it to black in color and uh, now the background color is black and now i'm uh, pressing ctrl 2 to lock this layer otherwise you can keep it from here you can lock the layer and you can unlock the layer from here as well okay so now we are moving to the design process and for this i will take this ellipse tool from here and dragging a simple ellipse like this but uh, you can see that nothing is visible on the screen because everything is black so i'm just removing this fill color from here and turning the stroke part to white in color and stroke weight to around two points so it's looking like this now cancel it and uh, now what I'm going to do before doing anything else uh, I will simply go into the object here but before that I'm moving it to one point because I don't want to create a more solid look after you know expand um, uh, after doing the expand and here I will simply create one because it will turn the fill and stroke color both in a single layer so here you can see that this is the solid line that we have just created and now what I'm going to do I will simply click on it and now dragging dragging into the right side to create a duplicate circle like this and then we will press ctrl D and hold on so we will get a different shapes just like this I am interested in this shape so we are going to create we have we have to exclude this shape from these circles and uh, to exclude this uh, shape from the circles what I am going to do I will simply select all these layers together here and go into the window and then you have to choose the pathfinder from here and now I am choosing the exclude option now what we have to do we do you need to select it uh, together and then you can ungroup it because now the average layer is uh, ungrouped so I will select the layer all the circles together here again and then I will hit the delete button from here so when I will get the desired shape so you can see this is very cool and easy technique to uh, you know ec uh, extract the shapes uh, just by doing a little tricks so you can work around in different way and you can create different objects in the same way now what I'm going to do I will press ctrl G to group all these layers and press ctrl C and ctrl F to create a similar copy in the same place and then you can go into the transform option and rotate it with the 90 degree angle so you will get the shape like this so this is the easy and cool technique that you can use to uh, create these uh, sort of design now in the next step what you can do you can simply uh, add a colors to it you can apply different shades to it so I love the gradient so I'm going to the default gradient uh, part of the Adobe Illustrator CS6 and here in the gradient section you have to go into the switch and then you will find the gradient option from here and here I want to choose the pastels and you can choose different colors uh, from here I want to go with this one blue radial and uh, here you can see that how it's look like so you can see that this is very simple and easy way to create these type of creatives uh, that creating a more like a 3d look flipping look a uh, look uh, or if there it's showing that uh, that's the same thing it seems like uh, something is bending from the edges so thank you so much for watching now I want I just wanted to share with you the technique of this logo design so I shared with you so if you like my tutorial then please hit the like button and thumbs up to it and uh, uh, subscribe to my channel I will come back to you with more tutorials uh, if you have any specific request regarding the logo design then you can also share with me I will definitely walk on that way so have, uh, subscribe to my channel and have a very good day bye bye